Well, it is Easter Sunday, the day Christians celebrate the miracle of Christ's resurrection, which means it's time for some guilt-free food indulgence. And while there's no shortage of chocolate and hot cross buns, this morning, some inspiration for treats you can make today for the whole family. Weekend Sunrise nutritionist Sarah DiLorenzo is here. Good morning to you, Sarah. Now, carrot cake for breakfast. What? Yes. What? Uh, yes, so this is an Easter Sarah. Sunday. It's a carrot cake bake. It's a healthy twist on it, and we're going to make it together. And these are staples that people would commonly have at home. Home. So first of all, we're going to mix the dry ingredients here. So Ange, you can put that in. That's two cups of oats and then I've got there half a cup of pecans. Pecans are great for that. That's baking powder. We need a fair bit of that when we're cooking with oats. Pinch of salt and also we've got in some ci uh, ground ginger and some cinnamon. So we're going to mix the dry ingredients together and Matt, you can do the wet ingredients here. So I want you to add one and three quarters cups of almond milk to the carrot. Oh, and then, this feels like I'm complicit. No, it's not. No, 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 no to, to the, the carrot. carrot. Follow instructions. To the carrot. No, I was going to. I was just checking. You no. were paying attention. And then we're going to <laughs> the add the whole to, lot. The whole lot. And, yeah, and obviously, then we're going to add to it two eggs. Yeah. And also we're going to add to that two teaspoons of vanilla essence, which is when does wonderful the to cook go in? with. There's no chocolate in this one. And then I've How also much? got. Oh. And then once you mix Put that together, oh. and then yeah, and then. Uh, half a cup of maple syrup, which is one of my favourite sweeteners when you're doing these kind of things at home. Now, mm -hmm. it's so... So you can add that into there, yes, and then moving that along. So one of the things you do Sorry, with this is... Sorry, how much vanilla essence? Two teaspoons? Two, table, two teaspoons. Sure. Now you mix that together. Now, the oven has to be preheated at about 190 <laughs> degrees. Don't pour my drinks down. And <laughs> you're going to put, mix that, Whisk. pour that into that. Stir. Yeah, and then that into that, and then yeah, that will go that. into there. And you'll bake it for 30 minutes, 30 to 40 minutes. Now, Where's as the, you can see there, there, now you can put that one <laughs> into there. I haven't the yolk yet, mate. And then, the, uh, yeah. And so basically with this one, I've done a frosting right. as well. But my frosting I've done with Greek yogurt and I've also done it with, here we go. It's all happening. Someone who knows what they're yes. doing. Yes. And then we're going to put that in the oven. That's the final result over there. You're going to get a wonderful carrot cake bake there. That, I've got some spoons there, Matt, you Look can sample that. with. That goes into there. Now, okay. I've got another Delightful. recipe. So there's breakfast done with staples I, that you would probably amazing. have. You can start eating that, Matt. What so over here, here, we've got a... So something here I'm doing is a recipe from the 1010 Diet recipe book that's available for pre-order, and I'm going to do some roast chicken here. Mm -hmm. So basically, it's an easy chicken roast. To this one here, we're basically going to add... Uh, you, you can do that, and um, two te teaspoons of oregano, and then I've also got here. Oh, Sally's I've helping! Free food, actually. And then we've got here. I've cake. got some chili. I've got a tablespoon of that's going to go in. We're also going to grate some garlic. Uh, Sally, maybe you can help with some garlic. Oh, <laughs> well, we've got a bit of the garlic. <laughs> a bit of garlic in there. We've got a bit of this and some good. thyme, really good. zest of lemon. We're going to marinate this for half an hour. And then when you put it, put it in the oven for 200 for 30 minutes. But I, one thing I love about roasting chicken, so this will go in, that, imagine that's in the oven half an hour, bake that. Mm. So when, uh, one thing about chicken is it's very dry when was, you cook yes. it. And I can't stand dry chicken. So what I've Nothing's basically worse. got here is I've, at the 30 minute point, you'll pull it out and then put some tomatoes on top mm. back in the oven for another Does 10 minutes. Does that stop it going we've got about Yes. So 20 30, seconds. So Yeah, and then that goes on top. And then obviously what you would have with it is whatever you want with roasted vegetables in the way just to make a really sun easy Sunday chicken roast Amazing. recipe from this book here. That's Matt, how is that yeah. for a carrot cake twist? Well, I would like... Lest you Healthy think twist. I've, lest you think I've been rude. I've had several spoonfuls. <laughs> you just so I'm, I know, I so that I'm qualified. I this chicken because my chicken you. breasts are always spoon. dry. Yeah. <laughs> that is a great hack. It's Sarah, such I a good that. hack. It's a wonderful hack. So there's healthy, guilt-free. I oh, wish I could get some to Sally. Come over here with the spoon. Easter Sunday deliciousness. That's Sarah, so easy that's excellent. Do. I know, and it's healthy. There's it's refined, sugar-free, guilt-free, and also... Sally's dipping her sleeves in all of the available food produce. Yeah, and then the cute decorations with the pecan and the carrot. So will you indulge in one egg today? Me? Mm. Oh, maybe two. <laughs> I might go two, Matt. Just... <laughs> Look at you living dangerously. Hey, yeah. Let loose, Sarah. And we'll indulge in two teaspoons of carrot bake. <laughs> it was good. That's Thank divine. you, Sarah. Thank Thanks, you. Sarah.